Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square problem? From what we have here, we can square both sides here, that. We have root x plus root x minus 11, all square on this side, then equals to 11 square on this side. Then from what we have on the left hand side here which follows from a plus b all square which we can write as a square plus b square plus 2 ab then here root x serving as a and root x minus 11 serving as b then this gives us root x squared then plus root x minus 11 squared then plus 2 times root x times root x minus 11 now equals to 11 squared from here, 11 times 11, that gives us 121. Mm. Then, from here, we have the square, cancel the square root. We are left with x, also square cancel square root. We are left with x minus 11. Then from here, we can write it from where we have root a times root b. This same thing as root a times b together that is here what we have then become x plus x minus 11 then plus 2 times square root of x times x minus 11 and equal to 121 then here we can add this together x plus x give us 2x so we have 2x minus 11 then plus 2 then square root of here x open the bracket here we have x square then minus 11x equals to 121 then here minus 11 Break it here become plus and this gives us 2x plus 2 times square root of x square minus 11x now equals to here this gives us 121 plus 11 we have 132 that is next step from here we have two common the factor is as we have two in the bracket x plus square root of x square minus 11x close bracket equals to 132 then we can divide both sides here by 2 then here 2 we cancel each other so we are left with x plus square root of x square minus 11x now equals to here we have 66 next step we take x to this side and from here we are left with square root of x square minus 11x now equals to 66 minus x then from here to remove this square root we can take the square on both sides that is here this gives us square root of x square minus 11x all squared now equals to 66 minus x all squared then from here square cancel the square root here then from what we have here this follows from a minus b all square which we can write as a square plus b square minus 2ab 
being from what we have here, what is left here is x squared minus 11x now equals to here the expansion here following this we have 56 square plus x square then minus 2 times 66 times x and then from here when we subtract x square on both sides so minus x square here minus x square here yeah this cancel each other from here then what we have left here we give us minus 11x equals to let's leave this as 56 square then minus here we have 132x then bringing 132x here minus here become plus when it comes here so we have minus 11x plus 132x equals to 66 square then here this become 121x equals to 66 square then here we divide both sides by 121 so that here we have over 121 also divide by 121 here 121 cancel each other and here we have x equals to 66 square so we written at 66 multiplied by 66 then divided by also 121 here we can write it as 11 times 11 from here then here we have 11 we go here 1 and 11 go here that's 6 then go here 1 then 11 go here that's 6 so what we have left from here same thing as x equals to 6 times 6 which implies x equals to 36 now we have the value of x for this given problem then we can check from what is given quickly to see if this will satisfy the given problem so here what we have will become is we got x equals to 36 and here we have square root of 36 plus square root of 36 minus 11 and that be equals to 11 from here then root 36 that's 6 then plus here we have root 36 minus 11 that's 25 and it equals to 11 from here then this is 6 plus here root 25 is 5 then is it equals to 11 6 plus 5 is 11 which is equals to 11 now left hand side equals to right hand side and hence we have x equals to 36 satisfying this given problem so thank you for watching don't forget to step, subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell share this video give it thumbs up and if you have a comment put it in the comment section see you next class and bye for now